Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a video on Remix, but the reality is that Remix has now been incorporated into React Router v7, which is why I have React Router here. It's on a pre-release now. You can see that it says made, made by Remix up in the corner. And I'm kind of looking at this as the remixification of React Router. So, um, Basically, what I'm going to walk through in this example is using the React Router v7 pre-release and implementing authentication in a full stack application. And so you'll see where there's the, for those of you who are familiar with Remix, you'll see where there's the integration of the Remix approach to doing things, but doing it all with React Router, if that makes sense. So you have your loaders, you have your actions, and you have your routes set up. And then you have your server functions and everything to kind of manage the session. So that's what I'm going to cover here. So uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. Please make sure you check out the channel, um, share with your friends, and I hope you find this interesting. A couple of things to point out with, uh, to point out first is that I had I did a I did a project recently to just kind of dip my toes into React Router v7 and Remix. Um, and so I have this sample project here, React Router v7, v Drizzle or contact management app. Shows nested routes, shows React Router. It's pretty interesting, check it out. If enough people find it interesting, I'll do a video walkthrough of that source code. But what I'm doing today is a walkthrough of just a simple authentication app. It's got a login page, you log in, um, and then you go to a protected page. That's basically what this application does. Uh, nothing really special, nothing more than that. Uh, I didn't go too deep into kind of a backend authentication. I mean, a backend, um, yeah, backend authentication, um, integrating a database and all of this stuff. Really just wanted to keep it simple. Okay, I'm rambling on. Let me get to the code. So how did I get started? I got started by this, by going to the I'm new, um, doing this NPX dgit remix run to get their basic template out, and then stripping it down to just the basics. Okay, so I'm gonna just walk through the files. Well, actually, let me show you the app first. So this is basically the app. It's hard-coded to look for Aaron at mail and password password as a valid user. So if I put in any other email and log in, I get an error back. If I um, put an invalid password in, I get an error back. If I put the appropriate credentials in, I get logged in and I get a value back. This value is actually stored in the um, session and in the code I'll show you how I pull the value out of the session. And then I can log out again to kind of clear the session of the information. So that's basically what the app does. So let's hop to the code. Once again, all the source codes provided. Um, I did try my best I did try my best to uh, document this code. Um, actually, I didn't do it. I just let uh, GitHub Copilot kind of rip through it and document things so that hopefully you could find this helpful. All right, so where am I gonna start? Let's start in the routes where I define my routes. So I have my default index route, which is my homepage. I have my login route and then I have my login route. Ah, sorry, my logout route, path, and the component file. So let's start with the home page. Okay. So the way that this works is um, if you're not familiar with React Router, V7, we've defined the route. And it's got the cool types that are getting generated for you here, which you have access through to this dot types, dot dot, but plus types home. So you can get things like, do I, am I passing any parameters here? Well, A, the first thing you'll notice here is that you get the loader data passed in. You know, there's no loader data coming in here. I'll cover that in another example. Um, for those of you familiar with Remix, this looks pretty straightforward too. You have your loader function, 
and then you have your route here. So there's no real magic here. Not sorry. Let me let's get some more space. There's nothing really new here for you, other than the fact that you set up your routes using um, React Router v7. Um, here in our loader, what we're doing is we're I'll go over this get user function that, that I have here in my um, services later. But basically what this is doing, it's checking to see if I have a user ID. If there's no user ID, I redirect to login. Otherwise I pass the user ID through. And then down here, if my loader data comes back and it has a user ID, I render the user ID. Well, first of all, I say, yes, you are logged in. And we execute this code, render the user ID, render a button for you to log out. And that's it. Otherwise, if you're, not, if you're not logged in, then I just display this link for you to go to the login page. And so let's get to home here. Oh, uh, actually, you actually never see this login link because the way the code's written automatically redirects you to login. So let's go to the login page. Now. So we're here on the login page. All right, we have our meta function to display the meta stuff for the page. I've just copied this across all the pages. We have our loader, fu loader function, um, which gets called when the page is first loaded. We're using our session calls, which are in my session ser server service, which I'll cover later. Um, but we check for user ID. If I have, if I have a user ID, then I redirect back to home because there's no need to do the login page. This is my action. I'll cover my action after I get done walking through the form. Down here in my component, I just have a form, a post, and my submit. The form will call the default action for the page on submit. Uh, on submit, we do get some action data back. Action data gets passed in as a param. If the action data has an error, then I'll render the error. But now let's talk about what happens when you click the submit button. When you click submit button, for those of you familiar with Remix, you know it calls the action. And this is my action. I get my form data, pull the values out of my form. Like I said for this, it's just simple authentication. But here's where you would kind of put your more complex database integration, where you would call to the database, find the user, decrypt the pat, not decrypt the password, encrypt the password you're given, see if it matches with the password that was saved, and then um, hop back into where I am with the code where I create a user session. Uh, right now, all I'm storing in my session is just a user ID, which is just a user's email address. And then I'm passing this remember is true. So this way it will um, save the information in the cookie and allow me to just come back to the page without logging in every single time. If there's an error, then I throw an error. Otherwise, I just return the response, which actually doesn't I don't think this will never real, actually never really get called because inside my create user session, I there is an optional redirect URL parameter here. Right now, it just defaults to redirecting you back to um, the home page, but you could change it to something else if you wanted to redirect elsewhere. So this call here will redirect you after the login is done. So that's kind of my login page. And so now it probably makes sense to hop to this server session or session server code. So for those of you who come from the React world, one thing you'll notice different is like our imports are coming from React Router now. Um, but a lot of this code is, the is structured the exact same way that it was structured for Remix. So like porting Remix stuff, in my opinion, shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, we're just importing create create cookie session storage and redirect from React Router. So to kind of cover the functions from the way that the application comes in, after we validate the login, we, we're basically just calling this create user session. We're getting calling this get user session. And let's see, get user session. Where did that good guy go? It just comes here. It's just grabbing the cookie. And then we're setting our user session key, I believe is just user ID. We're setting it to the user ID that we got passed in. We're redirecting based on a URL that was provided or we're going back home. And then we're setting the cookie we're using a session storage, commit this information to the session. And then here's all our cookie information and then it gets set. 
And you can see up the top, as I said here, it's to, it's to redirect with the setting of the cookie. So now the cookie's there, and that's what's happening when we check for, see, we call this get user ID. And basically what we're saying is if I have a user ID, then you're authenticated. If I don't have a user ID, you're not authenticated. And all that's doing is once I get the session, it's looking to session for the using user session key, which is user ID. If I have an ID, I return it. And if an ID comes back, then I know that you're logged in. Um, so that covers the get user ID. It covers create user session. Like I said, for remix folks, this should all be old hat. The get user session, I cover it out. It grabs the cookie. This is the create cookie session, which gets called. When did this guy get called? Oh yeah, this is what gets called, which is providing me this commit session and destroy session. And down back to, so I think I've covered that function, that function. Get user ID, I did, I didn't cover, logout's not here, but logout's straightforward and it's probably in the logout page. So let's go to the logout page. Logout page, just like the other um, React Router pages. Like I said, this is this is light on this is light on Re React Router, heavy on Remix, and so it's just really showing you how tightly coupled these two things are now, and how if you're familiar with Remix, that it's really not going to be a stretch to get this whole um, React Router v7 Remixification running for you. Um, we have a couple of unnecessary imports, delete all the news imports, clean up this code for you. So meta functions as usual, we have our action. So this is just a route for you to hit to log out. So if I go back to my login page, uh, actually it's not my login page, it's in my home page. Where is my home page? You can see that my logout is just a form submission to call the logout action. So when I call the logout action, I'm gonna hit this logout route. When I hit the logout route, I'm gonna hit my action here. My action calls this logout function. And that log, oh, that logout function was there. I didn't know it was in my session server. So where is it? So I'm getting to user session. I'm basically destroying everything in the session uh, with this session store destroy session and redirecting back to my home page. And so now when I redirect back to my home page, here's my home page. You can see that on load, it's checking for user ID. There's no user ID, so then it's going to redirect me back to login, and then the whole process starts all over again. So just to wrap this up, it seems like these guys have done a pretty good job at making the transition for for folks writing with Remix to use Remix Router V7 in a way that they're already comfortable with. Um, this video wasn't really much about React Router V7, but just more about me seeing, because in the beginning when they announced this whole rebranding, I was kind of confused, but now I get it. Um, it's, I get it. They've put all the re all the cool Remix stuff you have now have access to through React Router, and all the server framework stuff has just been kind of offloaded to someone else. So um, looking forward to, I believe that they're working on some automated typing, to, which is more like the other videos that I've done with Tanstack, where you get some types by defaults from your router. It'd be nice, unless I'm missing something and someone drop in if, if they know, like it would be nice if this was typed for me. Um, same with the action data. So ideally it'd be nice if the, if the loader data and everything just was automatically typed for me. Um, I don't know if that could be done, but it would just be cool. But like I said, quick video, source code's available. This is my first project, which is the whole content management app, which is more a little more complex. And this is just me curious to see how authentication works because I did a video on Tanstack Router with um, authentication. So um, leave a comment below. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.